The multiple appointments per time slot version provides a more advanced approach to managing schedules. This tutorial will cover the basics of adding, updating, and deleting time slots. The multiple appointments per time slot version is available when subscribing to the gold price tier or higher. Please contact technical support if you have any questions about pricing or need to change appointment plus versions. This version of the software enables additional reports and preferences such as the open slots report and options to overlap and span appointments. More details about extra features and preferences can be found in the multiple appointments per time slot user guide. To access the time slots for a schedule, start by clicking on the Staff Members tab at the top of your account. This tab might be different in your account depending on what you're scheduling. If you're not sure what tab to click on, check Term Number 2 by clicking on the Settings tab, then clicking on the Terms link to the left side of the page. After clicking on the Staff Members tab, click on the name of an existing staff member profile. By default, all profiles will include the options to create weekly recurring schedules and schedule exceptions. Click on the Schedules link to create a weekly recurring schedule or select the Schedule Exceptions link to override the weekly recurring schedule for a specific day. Each option will include a Quick Time Slot Creator and a Manual Time Slot Creator. With the Quick Time Slot Creator, you can add multiple time slots at the same time either for a full week or for a single day. With the Manual Time Slot Creator, you can add, edit, and delete individual time slots. Although it is possible to add slots one at a time, most clients prefer to use the Quick Time Slot Creator to add a full day or week of time slots, then make any minor changes using the Manual Time Slot Creator. When creating time slots, first choose an option from the Every and Slot Duration drop-down lists. These drop-downs will default to the duration selected for Appointments Preference Number 1 in the Settings section of your account. The Every drop-down dictates how often the time slots will start, while the Slot Duration drop-down dictates the amount of time included for each time slot. If you don't see the correct duration options, adjust appointments preference number one to the least common denominator required for your appointments. For example, if you need to create time slots for every 30 minutes, set appointments preference number one to 30 minutes. If you need to create time slots every 15 minutes, set appointments preference number one to 15 minutes. For most organizations, these options will stay the same. For example, a schedule of 30 minute time slots every 30 minutes. However, the option also provides the ability to create start times that do not match the durations, such as when appointments start every 30 minutes, with each appointment taking 60 minutes to complete. The next step when creating new time slots is to specify the number of appointments per slot. This field indicates the number of appointments you can accept for each time slot. Finish by selecting the start and end times for each day you need to create your time slots. If creating a schedule exception, select a date, then click on the Create Slots button. Note that the end time represents what time your last appointment will end, not what time your last appointment will start. Before creating your time slots, you might also want to check the Manual Time Slot Creator section to make sure it does not already contain unwanted time slots or time slots that you are about to create. If you need to delete existing time slots, click the Delete button for each time slot or click on the Delete All Slots button at the top of the page. After clicking the Create Slots button, your time slots will then show in the Manual Time Slot Creator section. To update a time slot, select your new options, then click on the Update button next to that time slot. You can also use the Delete button next to each time slot to remove the time slots from your schedule. This can be beneficial if you need to create recurring gaps of unavailable time in your schedule for things like lunch breaks. It is not possible to update the options for multiple time slots using the Manual Time Slot Creator section. If you make a mistake when using the Quick Time Slot Creator, or need to update a large number of time slots, it might be easier to simply click Delete All Slots, then start over. 